The reasons that the gardening is important to me, it helps me keep in touch with some of the things where I come from uh, when I was growing up as a kid. And it gives me a place to sit and relax and have peace time with myself. Uh, and the joy of watching it grow and the joy of giving it to other people after I've grown it. This garden may save someone's life, particularly mine, uh, to where I could have been outside the fence and doing other things, something could have happened to me. But I'm back here, I know there's nothing's going to happen to me. I'm in my own area, my own zone, and uh, I feel that it does just as much for me as I, does, as I do for it. My parents was a sharecropper. Now I do this for a hobby and relaxation. Back then, they had to do it for means of survival. Most of our feeding came out of the garden. When there was no meat, there was always garden around. And it was fixed so good, mom was such a good cook with it, we didn't know the difference one way or the other. My brother, uh, he encouraged me. he come around and say, you're not going to plant a garden this year? I know I can't do it this year. And he'll say, well, what you doing? I'm at home. And he'll say, well, I'll come cut it up for you. He come, cuts it up, and next thing I know, the garden done started. Then he runs out on me. <laughs> but he always come when I call him. Always come when I call him. Oh, yeah. I tell you, my private. Get away when it gets too loud. Everywhere else, I can always come here. Yeah. Feel like home away from home. Be comfortable. I don't know what science say about it, but I know what my brain say about it. Just like the milk. In the country, if a cow eat wild onions, you can't drink the milk unless you love wild onions. It's nothing better than loving the joy of this. I tell you, I just I have to keep going back to it. It's, when you get it up to where you don't have to get grass out of it, I can pull my chair right there and just sit and look at it and talk to it a little bit. And it's good. It's good. Yeah. And a lot of things when you're small that you didn't get a chance to do when you was out on the farm, you had certain things you had to do as you grew. So when you get older, it gives me a chance to do it on my own, and I like it. I mean, it's really... You're going to get some soreness and some pain out of it if you do it right, but it's a joyable pain, you know. It's a joyable pain. My girls, they're fantastic. The girls, boys are a different thing. The girls, they want to plant it. They want to pick it. They want to step on it. And that's the difference. That's, that, see, that right there, to, just to teach your kids to say, yes, sir. No, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Give respect, you get respect. If you don't get respect, that's a person you don't need to be around. Uh -huh. What the eggplant? The long, I told oh. Ivy to pick it. Oh, no, you can't pick it yet. I don't think it's quite done. Black, it's so long. Let me see. Let Daddy get over here and take a look. Oh, it's a pretty one, though. That is a beautiful one. You think you're going to pick it? No, it's not quite ready. You know where to get that? You know how they look like when you buy them at the grocery store? Oh, yeah. They'd be about this big, right? Oh, yeah. Then it come down and shape like a bell. <laughs> All right? Yeah. See, but you can see I here. Too. Yes, it's long I enough. tell you, I wouldn't trade those two for anything in the world. In this world. They are, they're, they're so smart and they're so precious. I see eight or nine on it already. What's most important to me is God, gardening, family, family, and gardening. There's a cucumber you could have got right there. A gentleman was in there cleaning out the bottom, and it killed him. The fumes. From the pig? Yes, ma'am. Pork kill you more ways than one. But you know what? I love it. <laughs> <laughs>